Beth.com. It is Friday, September 14th. We made it through the week, Beth. Finally, yes. I'm Paul Wontorek. I'm Beth Stevens. And over there, we have Eric King. Hello. And two fantastic guests today. I'm we super love excited they're both two. here. Uh, they're about to hit the road and make people cry, is what I just said to them. Yep. Oh, well, yeah. that's encouraging. Christiane Knoll and Aaron Lazar, the Murphys of the Dear Evan Hansen Tour. I know you're all super psyched to see them come to your town, so we're going to talk to them about it. But first, today's top five. Chim Chimmery Charlie. That's all you're saying. <laughs> okay. I love it. Okay. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. I remember that. Remember Mary Poppins? Yeah, yeah. It's returning to the West End, and so there's some really exciting Isn't cast. the movie, what's the movie called coming out? Re- Mary Poppins Mary Returns. Poppins, something like that. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so what because you're because saying is we returns. should have said Mary Poppins Returns instead of whatever you said. Because the should. press release we got said Mary Poppins Returns, and I was like, that's a little... It returns like, to the West about End. Lynn Miranda. No, okay. No. Listen. Nope. Charlie Stemp. Charlie Stemp. Who's will fantastic. Will be playing Bert. Yeah. In the return. ZZ Stralin, sister of Scarlett Stralin, who played Mary Poppins on Broadway. The famous Stralin. The Stralin sisters. Of the West End. Of the West End and Broadway. Yes. Uh, will be playing the Oh, ZZ's character. never been here. No, but we've seen her a bunch of We need of to times. get her here. Are they like She's, the Mueller's? They're like, there are three of them. Oh, okay. They're are there are only three? Are you sure there are a few extras? Maybe there's four or five. I don't know. <laughs> there are a lot of stra- I know you can write in. Let us know. Uh, of course, Charlie Stemp earned an Olivier Award nomination for his turn as Arthur Kipps in Half a Sixpence. That was a bad British accent. He um, made his Broadway debut in Hello, Dolly. We all remember mm-hmm. that. We all had a wonderful time seeing him. Mm-hmm. And this will be back at... <laughs> trying to see. I in think the West End. In the West End, but it's going to tell you the theater. Oh, Prince Edward Theater, fall 2019. And you can say his name three times, but he's still not coming until April. I'm actually going to watch Beetlejuice this weekend because good idea. I, I'm a big Tim Burton fan and I only saw Beetlejuice once for some reason. And it's like the one I don't even remember, like <laughs> I sort of remember the three times thing. So I'm going to know more about Beetlejuice on Monday. Uh, and but the, the musical, I hear the musical is fantastic. Oh, good, good like, buzz. That's good. Fantastic buzz, actually. Uh, it's so it's going to DC, and now they announce it will open April twenty fifth, twenty nineteen, at the Winter Garden Theater. Uh, the first preview, we don't know when that's going to be. Before Let's say late March. <laughs> uh, it'll be in DC at the National Theater starting October fourteenth. So that's super soon. Eddie Perfect, who is also writing the score for King Kong, yes. is writing Beetlejuice. This guy has two. New musicals this season, booked by Anthony King and Scott Brown, and Alex Timbers is directing it. And the cast is amazing, led by Alex Brightman as Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. (gasps) I don't know what that means, but I'm (laughs) I'm excited about it. And um, everyone will be able to get to see this stellar London production. It's not as good as A Funny Girl on Broadway, but it's almost as good. Right. So, Funny Girl was in the West End a while ago. We saw that. Sheridan Smith. We did Uh see it. Yeah. We just... We'd never seen it on stage before. I'd never seen it, except for I saw Paper Leslie Mill Kretzer do it. Speaking Playhouse. of Beetlejuice, did it Paper Mill Playhouse? I forgot about that. You're right. Yes. Uh, this is going to have a global cinema release, except the tri-state area, according really? to Harvey Firestein on Facebook. Except for the tri-state area, <laughs> not playing area. in the tri-state area. <laughs> the only people Why who want to see it. Why am I bothering to talk? <laughs> but this to is an international it. show, so all of so, you can go see it. Michael Mayer directed it. <laughs> it was filmed by Digital Theater during the final week at the Manchester Palace Theater. And if you live somewhere other than the tri-state area, <laughs> you can catch Sheridan Smith. <laughs> and don't rain on my parade, Paul. <laughs> God. Anyway, there you go. That was nice. You got a silent applause from Aaron Lazar on that show. <laughs> and we got a new promo, bitches, for Broadway. Oh, wow. This is a lot That's of stuff okay, going on share. I'm going to move past that quickly. <laughs> uh, so there's a show called The Share Show that's coming. It's about share. That's what... That's what Eric was just Tried doing. To do. That was that was share. Uh, and there's there's new artwork. They're really branding it. There's a new poster, right, with the really cool illustrations. You can see the cool new artwork and a little promo. And and it says here uh, SJB. That stands for Stephanie J. Block. Obviously, for th- those in the know what else could it can be heard singing "If I Turn Back Time" in share fashion. These are Eric's notes. Mm-hmm. So I listened to it, Isn't and it it's literally like for like two seconds. Yeah, but she also says like <laughs> you can barely hear. But anyway, like, it's Broadway exciting. Fans. Uh, and the share show starts November first. We're ready. We're excited. And we got news of a new musical headed our way, starring Harriet Harris. Well, we hope it's headed our way. All right. This is the Rivals. Do you know the Rivals? 
Of course you do. It's like a classic play, it's isn't it? It's a classic it? play from 1775 by Richard Sheridan. I looked wow. that up for you guys. And it has the famous Mrs. Malaprop, which is where the word uh, Malaprop is and uh, comes from, which I think we've done a lot so far today. Uh, Harriet Harris, Tony winner, of course, will be playing that role. And Aaron Mackey will, uh, will also be in the show as Lydia Languish. Look at these names. Aren't fancy. they amazing? This features um, a book and lyrics by Tony nominee Peter Kellogg. He wrote Anna Karenina in 1993 and got a nomination nomination for book and score. Well, so Erica There's a was fun in that. Fact, so you know everything. Yep. And music by Steven Weiner, uh, directed by Eric Tucker, choreography by Jason A. Sparks. This is at the Bristol Riverside Theater in Bucks County, but they're calling it Broadway Bound. Oh, it's in Bucks County. Yeah, it's it seems Bristol Riverside sounds very British, but it's in Bucks County. Oh. Um, so there you go. It's uh, previews begin October 30th, and then look at this. Two days later, it opens because. That's how it is over there. Bucks County. I never miss a Harriet Harris role. Never. Well, sometimes I have, actually. Time moves she does a lot now. of work everywhere. It's hard to make it to She's all of them. She's very busy. Uh, okay. You know what? I also wanted to point out our fall preview is in full effect. Swing, yeah. Full effect. swing. Thank you. That's You're better. Um, Laura Benanti hosted our fall preview special, and we are doing features on nine of the uh, great new Broadway offerings. So every day there's new features, and look for it. Look for every it. day. Yeah. It's awesome. Get into it. Thank you, Christiane Noll. Uh, okay, <laughs> Beth, I think that's it. We need to make room for the Murphys. Okay. Thank you for having a great weekend. Thank you, too. And uh, hey, Eric, why don't you tell us more about these two talents? I'd love to. Christiane Noll and Aaron Lazar are about to embark on a journey across the United States as Cynthia and Larry Murphy in the national tour of Dear Evan Hansen. Noll has been spotted on Broadway in Jekyll and Hyde, the revival of Ragtime, which earned her a Tony nom. It ain't nothing but the blues and the most recently Chaplin. She's no stranger to the road, having toured in Miss Saigon, Urinetown, and Greece, amongst others. Lazar was most recently seen in The Great White Way in The Last Ship, but his Broadway credits also include the 2006 revival of Les Mis, The Light in the Piazza, Mamma Mia, and many, many more. Maybe you've also seen him on TV in The Good Wife, Quantico, or The Strain. Be sure to follow Christiane and Aaron on Instagram at christiane.noll and at Aaron Scott Lazar. Leave all your questions in the comments below, and please welcome Paul, Christiane, and Aaron. Hey, guys. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for having us. You both have dot names on, mm -hmm. on social? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You guys have a lot of credits. Actually, actually a little intimidating. I was, I was, um, I was trying to prepare myself, and I like reminded myself of all you because it's almost too many. Like you do, do a lot, do and so I was wondering which credits Eric was going to say because it's kind of hard to good. pare it down. Well, do you, you know how many orchestras this this a lot. this woman has has many. sung You're with? Because we met singing, like with, with pops orchestras and symphonies. And yeah, stuff. Yeah. That was the first time the you first ever one did we anything. Ever did was the Cleveland Orchestra, not mm. shabby at all. Not too shabby. It's a Cleveland big deal orchestra, orchestra for yeah. those of you who may not know the orchestra world. Yeah. Well, but when we, you when you're a Broadway star with I'm going to do this when you when you're a Broadway star with great uh, singing voices, you get pay, you get these gigs right, yes. and you get paired up, and you do like. First of all, you do endless benefits, but also you do these big fancy. So you're saying you met at one well, of those? Uh, pops, pops concerts. The symphonies all over the country right. have their beautiful, amazing orchestras, and because they all want to play Mahler, they have you pay for the privilege to pay Mahler. So they do these pops concerts, wow. mm -hmm. and lots of times Broadway is is a way to like yeah. just get more people in and yeah. make a lot of money. And yeah, that's what so we've never. Yeah. And if you can, if you get to sing with someone like this human here, who has one of the greatest voices on planet Earth. Uh, That's sweet. It's pretty remarkable, but but you know we have our, we have our little bios going into the playbill, you know, for the tour and thing, and and and, it, and and it's it's just a fun Christiane Knoll fact that I did not appreciate, which is over 100 orchestras. And it's in print. So there it must are be that true. many orchestras. <laughs> <laughs> all over. I've been all over. Wow. It's not just the country. Unbelievable. Yeah. And you know what else? Uh, I'm just gonna show off. And I I've seen because I've seen both of you do really phenomenal things recently that Eric did not mention. And you know, everything is not happening just on Broadway, people. I mean, first of all, they're happening yeah. on the road. But like, Aaron, you were in that Merrily We Roll Along I saw in LA that Michael, LA, yeah. Michael Arden directed. Yeah, you were Franklin Shepard, nice. Inc. Yeah, you were man. fantastic. Oh, I love that production. And Christiane Knoll, you guys did Next to Normal at uh, Theater Works in Hartford, which that like blew my mind. That, that production, won a, you won an oh, award for that too. I was there the night you won an award, so yeah, congratulations. Uh, so these, these, you guys are both uh, favorites of mine, So, and Aww. I've seen you do phenomenal things, in addition to all your amazing things you've done on Broadway. So it's good to have you here, and it's good that you're paired up. I know. Yeah, and you've both done great. tours before. 
Yes. You've done a bunch of tours. I, st- I started the, the whole beginning of my career was was on the road. What was your first tour? City of Angels. I wanted to like, oh, I can't sing, God. but I wanted to do that. No, 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 Such no, no, an no, amazing no, no. show. Yeah, that was an incredible way to, to That show needs to come back. You guys could do City of Angels together. I, yes. Yeah. 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 Would you be a Stone or a Stein? I'd like to just do the True West version where... <laughs> you get to try to <laughs> I think you would want everyone to think you're a stone, but you're really a stein deep underneath maybe, everything. Maybe. I think so. That's probably a good call. <laughs> Whatever pays the bills, Polly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dervin Hansen is paying some bills. So this yes, is sir. a big tour. This is like everyone is so excited about this tour. The truck was out front today. Yeah, they had the... They're actual, they bring the truck to New York. Like well, one they, of nine they had trucks, to, apparently. They had the to unload one. everything out of the um, re- uh, rehearsal studios and, and our, tr- our trunks and our makeup stuff right. and then other oh, things. Oh, wow. But they have the wrap it's truck branded, that says... Baby. Yeah, it's a big blue truck. So it's like a rock and roll truck, it's like a big blue much. Dervin. Wow, <laughs> big blue Dervin Hansen truck. All kinds of wrong things There's going to be blue on all truck. over the country. Oh <laughs> my God, people love this show. Of course, it's like a Broadway phenomenon. It still is. Uh, won the Tony Award, of course. Um, uh, Michael Park and Jennifer Lord Thompson are still playing these roles on they Broadway, are, right? The which Murphys. That's why we're going on the road. Mm. <laughs> 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 they're not they're not letting go of them yet. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but these are great parts. The Murphys are going through it. Yes. You know what I mean? I was really thinking like the 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 journey of the show, it's a, a lot of drama right from the start for for these shot two. out of the drama can. Yeah. Right? Totally. We're gonna as you said, we're we're gonna go cry. Uh, cry, cry. It's a very emotional show. And you emotionally go through it during the show. I mean, yeah. like it, it is, it's, it's a lot. It was interesting. We did the last, um, our last run through in the, in the uh, studio today, and um, the creatives have already gone out to Denver to um, start teching the show and uh-huh. get it, get it ready for us to be there. So. You know, I was coming to rehearsal today thinking, let's just sort of like, just go by the numbers, you know, let's not really like aim to hit the wall. Let's just kind of see what's going on. And our wonderful um, resident director, Sasha, is going to be like coming around to, you know, make sure we're okay. It's like, no, no, I think now's a really good opportunity to just, Mm -hmm. you know, do it one more time. I'm like, oh, God. (laughs) So I was like, okay, well, here's a good opportunity to sort of do it. Uh, in the frame of mind of when you come to the theater and you don't want to do the show, because mm-hmm. that that will inevitably happen over the course Not of the year. Not for me, maybe no. for you. For me, yeah. <laughs> Never happens. Well, because yeah, like you said, there's a lot of emotion, but this show is so brilliantly written and constructed. Because yeah. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go and and do my B show, whatever that might mm-hmm. be. No, isn't that amazing? And I was you still, can't. you can't. They like can't. I, I was just like, you know, snot. in fact, in fact, even just. There's an interesting thing that happens when you just, all the actors kind of just relaxed back, yeah. and then the play, it's such a The play, play I mean, took These it. guys wrote Ooh. this giant, as, an, as we were saying this the other day at the, at the run, a couple days ago, but you can just, you can just jump, you can just jump off the cliff, and there's just this net of a play that mm-hmm. will catch you no matter where you land mm-hmm. on. I mean, it's really special. Mm-hmm. We're really lucky. We're really lucky, yeah. yeah. And the score... I mean, do you guys That's like what I mean. When I say the play, I mean how is the play, the how music, is the, the lyrics. How is the score? Like, yeah. These guys, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sing I don't, I don't very sing. much. I'm the play in the musical. There's a musical <laughs> happening That's around true. me. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's like, but it's such a um, emotional, rich, like this this woman at the very, very beginning. They seem like total like suburban, maybe a little next to normal in that sense, like suburban. Uh, yeah. Dad, mom and dad with a family, right? And then it sort of just sort of like crumbles, mm-hmm. right? I mean, like when you first see them, they're just sort of like. Yeah. Well, though, there's so uh, you know what's what I love about it is that you realize that what Evan's going through, yeah. they're all like he says, you know, I wish I never wanted people to see how broke. If you saw how broken I am, everybody's broken. Yeah, and we all are. So it's brilliant in that sense because you think it's that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just, Typical suburban thing, right. but it's like you're about to see how we're all sort of just doing the best we can every I, day. And I think the other cool thing is that what we've discovered as we've been working on it and watching it is that you know Connor and Evan are kind of two sides of the same coin. Mm-hmm. You know, like one just it just different circumstances, mm-hmm. and and um, Jessica 
Phillips and I were also discussing similarly with the moms. Right. At least the way it, we've come to it at this right. point, that they ca- are very similar mm-hmm. and just but now we they're mm-hmm. in different circumstances. Right. And, uh, so it. Yeah, it's been fun to just kind of delve into this. You know? And, and uh, Ben Levi Ross, right? From Bro- Unbelievable. Broadway. 20. Kids turning 21 in Vegas. Vegas. Who's coming? You guys coming? I don't know what camera. <laughs> <you're coming>. oh, <laughs> really? Is that camera. happening? Then the tour, that's the tour Vegas. stop? Sure. Yeah. Right, I probably Maybe. shouldn't have said that now. It's going to be 3,000. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Happy yeah, birthday. Sorry. Yeah. So you're starting, what, in Denver? You're going to Denver first? Denver. Denver. Denver Center? Denver Center, at the, I think at the Buell, which is mm. going to be right. huge. Right. Mm-hmm. And then we'll be at the Amundsen for six weeks. Nice. I get to go home for six weeks. Yeah, you've weeks. been living in so LA for a while, right? Yeah. yeah. And you guys both have families. Yeah. So what is it like hitting the road with families? It's, it's great. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, good. it's, it's got to be tough. So it's got to be tough. I've t- I haven't toured. I've, I've not toured since right out of grad school. Yeah. First job I got was Killing Roaches with a Shoe uh, over in Murray Hill. And then I got the national tour of the Scarlet Pimpernel. And I went on the road for five months and the tour closed. And I came back and, and uh, my MCAT scores had expired to get into medical school. So I was officially an actor then. <laughs> and I have not toured since then. Wow. And now it's kind of amazing because now I have these kids and we sort of come full circle. And touring is way different. I'm going to sound like such an old man right now, but everything's <laughs> on that. Like, our whole tour is online, on apps, on yes. on Uber. There's, There's Uber no more cars. signing There's up no, on the wall. It's so it's cool. Like so, so far, knock on wood, so good. Like, touring's yeah. pretty incredible. Plus, we have the greatest producer ever, Stacey Mendish, is unbelievable. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's easy. For, it's easier though for me to say this than because I get to go home to LA for six weeks. So I'm like, yeah, I was in New York for a month, Denver for a month, right. home for six weeks, and then tour starts. So talk to me in December. Well, right. I'm, <laughs> my kids are like, where are you going, Dad? I uh, just got a nine month thing. I gotta. Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back in nine months. Stace, are Stace are you either. feeling the excitement from theater fans about having this show come to you know around the country? I mean, we're selling out. Like, yeah, it's yeah, good. it's going well. Yeah, it's be I, huge. I, I, we were talking about it earlier that. Um, there's obviously such a, a, a fury about this show from the from the show here in New York, yeah. but I would say predominance of the fans haven't necessarily seen it. They know it from the disc, mm-hmm. and they know the soundtrack, mm-hmm. and or I should say the cast album. Yeah, I was gonna um, say you're gonna get. Yeah, it. I'm in trouble. Yeah. Cast <laughs> recording. Put it on laser disc. The, yeah, the I'm sure it will be a soundtrack eventually recording. when the movie <laughs> yes, gets made. But right now, it. it's a cast album. Uh, but the cast <laughs> album, um, and. So they have a very specific idea of what they think it is because of what they've been listening right. to, and now they're going to get a chance to actually see, to what actually it is. see it, which I'm I yeah. am so tickled to see what that's going to be like. What about doing something? Uh, you've you've I've both seen I've seen both of you in uh, very fancy period costumes, and you both look great in period. But this is like modern, just like you're just like my clothes. Comfy? Oh, Did you get some great clothes? I got some good comfy? Yeah, me too. I got some I great like, clothes. There's, a, there's this sweater set, this cashmere sweater set, <laughs> that I, we yeah. were saying, you're going to have to Jedi mind trick everybody and be like, yeah, this now wait, this next outfit, you're going to have, just to make sure once they see it, that they go, yeah, let's keep that, let's keep that. Oh, there's some beautiful, ooh, well, we're the Murphys. This the is, Murphys. This, Murphys have money. They yeah, the Murphys money. are well off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they fancy. Got, they got some stuff. They look, they look very comfy. They got some, oh, yeah. No, there's, there's, there's jewels. <laughs> uh, so if you guys have any questions for Christian Noel and Aaron Lazar, please put them in the comments. Uh, Eric, is there anything people want to know? So when Ben uh, was asking more specifically about uh, Christian's uh, Diana next to normal and was wondering if you brought any of that to your current character, but I'm going to open it up and say, has there been any role in both of your careers that you think has prepared you for these roles? Hmm. Um, I will say that the the same notion of trusting the material with next to normal and that here's the runaway train and it's going to leave the station so you better be on it and w- just ride it and don't try to do the play let the play do you mm-hmm. it, that that it was definitely a lesson that that taught me mm-hmm. f- that I am incorporating in this experience mm-hmm. I would say mm-hmm. some what about you Aaron I would say fatherhood, the role of being a dad, mm. a lot yeah. has helped. Life role, life role, but yeah. also Piazza. Like I, I find myself, I find myself remembering. Oh, I remember what it felt like to just live in, on that Vivian Beaumont stage in that play, 
because it was that felt like the same where you're not aware that you're in a musical or doing a musical you're just letting the play happen and so how many years later are we are you know but if I, I just feel feel like I'm remembering that going like oh yeah mm -hmm. he asked a question um, of Michael Greif brilliant Michael Greif the other day at rehearsal we um, love Michael Greif because we're going to be playing I mean we're playing the Fox in Atlanta I mean we're playing some really yeah. large right. houses right which this is an intimate little show mm -hmm. and so he was like you know are we going to have to kind of get it, to the the get it question. out there give it the national tours because it's you know they're, they're, it, we're not in a thousand seat theater yeah. and he's like no I think the stillness I mean just to be reminded stillness counts for a lot and then let them come to you. So. Plus we have Hollywood Bowl style cameras, screens on yeah. either side that are just <laughs> no. right, in. Not right on no? the tears. Come on, that's what I'm counting on. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah, could, everything. Could, just exactly. get the, the lighting is such that then you'll know because it'll be yeah, cool. tear lights, <laughs> tear spots. Tear spots. What are they called? Um, Ryan had Special. a had a great question. He said. Since you're working with so many young cast members in this show who are at the beginning of their careers, how do you feel about and approach being role models for them during this experience? Well, Ben, Ben McGovern. Who's is, apparently 20. Apparently. 21. Is, is I as, I mean, he is as grounded and old and gracious and, I mean, how he, he does not need a role model. I mean, I, he will, he likes to wallow in, in mediocrity because I think, you know, all of the stuff that is happening to him, he's just like, no, 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 no I don't deserve it, you know. Mm -hmm. But he, he, he doesn't need that. But I think the, the notion that we've done this before, and I think just you asking that question is um, a good reminder <laughs> of to, you know, sh to go and be the positive attitude in the theater and, and on travel days, if they haven't experienced that yet, and they're but they're all I so keep looking at these kids enthused like, and ready to go. Who needs us? Anybody need us? Nobody. <laughs> and these kids, they don't. They've lived, and mm. and and different you know, generation, super different generation. Yeah, and so I'm sure we're there. We're there for them when they need us. But so far, these these they're not really kids. I mean, these no. young young adults are pretty impressive. It, it's it's wild to, to say how old are you? Like uh, Phoebe is. Yeah, her mother is her mother's traveling with us for, until she gets to her hometown when her birthday is because she's still 17. And um, it's her first Broadway thing. It's her first professional anything, yeah. like her first job. Wow. It's and yet you'd think it was her fifth, sixth, yeah, seventh Broadway show. So you, now, when you did your first things when you were young, you, you didn't get to do shows that were so much about being young. You know what I mean? Like, you were, like what was your first big professional thing? <laughs> well, other than covering the Pimpernel, uh, which was a joke because I went and in. And then you were in Phantom, weren't you? Yeah, then Phantom was my first Broadway show. Right. Uh, it wasn't really about the teenage experience. No, I didn't have that <laughs> until Light in the Piazza, which hilariously, when Piazza was happening out of town first and I auditioned, they're like, no, no, he's too old. And then I got cast later. Right. <laughs> but right. I'm older now. Right. I'm older now, but I'm younger now. So I'm trying to get younger as I get older. Now. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you, Christiane? What was your first like thing you did First professional thing. Uh, you mean like a well, my first principal, my principal equity job yeah. would have been Nancy and Oliver at the Carousel oh. Dinner Theater. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I never. I, I, I was uh, waiting to become a leading lady. You didn't play kids either. The no, I never yet. really. I mean, I, I had a couple ingenues, but as Jay Bender reminded me, he's like, everyone thinks you're an ingenue. I know better. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> you had, you, we're waiting for you to turn into what you are. I'm like, thanks, Jerry. Uh -huh. you know. uh -huh. And of course, Christiane was Tony nominated for playing Mother in Ragtime. Yeah. In the who, revival. Who knew that becoming a mother was now going to be my milieu? See that? That's it. See that starts the whole thing. Yeah. So you you, you, you're afraid to become a mom because you think <laughs> I will never work again. And it's like, oh no, that's, that's who you are. Yeah. So um, you were talking about some the intergenerational aspect, and that also like factors in the digital age. Valentine would like to know how relevant do you feel Dear Van Hansen is in such a di digital age, and how important do you think it is for Broadway shows to stay relevant and updated like Dear Van Hansen? Do you think oh. digital is becoming more of a the, the 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 digital, the social media, the marketing, the PR of on this show? I have never seen anything. Right. They are 
aces. Right. I mean, they've got their hand on the, the all of the videos. It makes that they you put cooler out. just being attached yes, to it. Thank you. You guys are super cool. Have you seen I, my IG, bro? <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. It's yeah. sad. I think they call it IG. Is it? Instagram. No, they call it. That's what they call Instagram. Is IG? I really don't know. Oh come on, you can say Instagram. <laughs> it's not but, that long a word. But also, it, it's it's inside God. the show, Insta. say one syllable. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's just yeah. no. They are. It's they are on it. Yeah. I mean, and and I think that's where most of the the word of mouth. That's where it is now. But mm -hmm. I'm. But in the plot of the show too. I mean, oh, right. it's such a it's such well, an important factor in the plot. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is also going to be continued and and? Yeah. Well, that's a commentary on on what it means to lead a well curated life, mm -hmm. you know. And because we put our lives on the internet for all to see, or we put our versions of the lives that we want people to see. This that this definitely has a lot to do with that. Yeah. I mean, think about how if you think about how it how it plays out. And you know the the havoc that the the social media and the internet and YouTube and everything wreaks on Evan's life and on our lives, and then you arrive at this place of just this orchard, hmm. you know, where it's simple. End. We're back to nature, and you just and yeah. that's just life. It's like, oh my God, especially in New York, but it's just everybody on the thing all the time. And if you can just sit next to a tree, I mean, seriously, <laughs> I, I, I haven't talked to Stephen Levinson about this, but now that I'm saying this first time live at five yeah there's this thing about trees and it really is like if you just take a second and appreciate some nature you know and that's what evan's really good at it's just so interesting how steven has juxtaposed those things mm. um yeah i think Brilliant play, people. Brilliant wow, play. Aaron Lassar. I'm thinking about Dear Evan Hansen from a whole other perspective. Yeah. Wow. Time, time to go I'm going to have to go tree. check out that national tour. <laughs> to see a whole new a whole new take on it. Uh, is there anything else? There's just one more thing, and okay. I think this will be our last comment. It's more of a comment. It's not a question. It's, I'm not saying both of you would be perfect for a Bridges of Madison County revival. But we would be perfect <laughs> for I'm Bridges of Madison County I would, oh. I would love to sing that I'm, I'm into that. What's up? Oh, What's up, I'm guys? so into that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you guys could do like a little concert series, like after the yeah. show on the road. We're like, you know, we've got our cabarets, <laughs> and we're trying to help each other out. Christian yeah. just helped me out at Birdland the other night, so on the road, we're gonna try to keep up our <laughs> legit chops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so into that. Like Thank you for that comment. Yeah, uh, there's yeah, a lot of things is. I would like to see you guys do together now. Now that now that I see you together, see that? See, you bring together Art. two talented people uh, and the, George the, Dot. Sure. I can still do <laughs> sure, sure. There's so much. Uh, hey guys, thank you so much. I know you've been super busy thank getting this guys. big national yeah. tour together, Thanks. and they're leaving. They're like leaving, leaving town, and hitting the road. And they'll be in Denver first, and then LA. And Aaron's gonna be hanging out at home, and then then he's gonna really hit the road. Uh, and, and my I family's coming out every every two to four weeks. I think we worked it out, so I won't be a miserable sot while I'm out there. We're okay. not having we'll my child sure. with me. <laughs> make sure she gets good food. <laughs> It's all going to be good. Well. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited to nice, see you guys on that show. Incredible. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for watching. Yes. Check them out on the road. And Eric, why don't you take us out? I'd love to. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook right here. You can also check us out on YouTube. And if you like podcasts, we're also on podcasts. So just type in hashtag live at 5 wherever you get your podcasts. Tune in Monday when we talk to Terry Kelly and Edward Stoudenmeyer from the first national tour of Anastasia. Anastasia.